Tuesday night, uh, President Obama called much deserved attention to the great strides that we've made in leading our country out of the Great Recession into a period of economic recovery and growth. For 58 straight uh, months now, private sector employment has created more than 11 million jobs. For the past 12 months, that growth has been uh, coupled by the smallest budget deficit since 2007. Uh, these numbers are encouraging, but the President rightly recognized that more work remains to ensure that all Americans, all Americans enjoy the fruits of our strong economy. Too many of our neighbors are still unemployed or underemployed or underpaid, and I agree with the President that we need to do more to tackle uh, these challenges. For example, the President uh, smartly emphasized investing in infrastructure, transportation, that kind of thing, roads, highways, bridges, as a means of encouraging economic growth. I was also encouraged by President Obama's commitment to a fair and free trade agenda, which would open the doors to new and growing international markets for our products, for our goods and services from America. Uh, similarly, I welcome the President's interest in working with Congress to re-examine our outdated tax structure, and I share his belief that we can find a common-sense compromise in tax reform when we need to. I share the President's continued commitment to reducing emissions and uh, curbing uh, the harmful effects of climate change, specifically sea level rise and extreme weather events which pose a particularly serious threat to Delaware, the lowest lying state in America. Sound environmental and energy policy can reduce harmful pollutants, lower our energy costs, and help put Americans back to work. And while we uh, work to foster a nurturing environment for job growth, I appreciate that the President is determined to protect our economic and our national security, especially in cyberspace. For nearly a decade now, I've pushed uh, bipartisan legislation on data breach prevention and notification, as well as comprehensive cybersecurity legislation. This is an area where the Congress and the administration can and should work together to approve as much needed legislation, and something that we actually got a good start on last year in the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee that I chaired. Finally, President Obama's plan to expand college access is a, uh, as a reminder that the skills required to thrive in today's global economy often require more than a high school diploma. Uh, many states, including Delaware, currently offer incentives for students to attend community colleges at little or no cost, and it makes sense to encourage states to expand the ability of more Americans to learn technical skills or start a college degree program at a community college uh, within our country. Education is one of the cornerstones, as we know, of a competitive and versatile workforce, and like the President, I'm committed to ensuring that more students, more students have affordable, high-quality, higher education op uh, options. Not everybody needs to get a four-year degree, not everybody needs to go to graduate school, but almost all of us need to continue our education in some form beyond high school. I look forward to uh, working with the President. I look forward to working with my Republican and my Democratic colleagues in Congress and, and other folks as well on these and other initiatives over the coming year. I agree with the President's assessment that the State of the Union is much stronger than it was six years ago. But we have got to stay focused on the work that still lies before us. We have a ripe opportunity to work together to make real progress on our most critical priorities, and it's my sincere hope that we seize the day, we seize this opportunity. Thanks so much.